Welcome back to Sun and Moon Rising. Today we're going to be doing an ASMR tarot reading. Let's begin. So we're going to do a pick a pile reading. The first pile will be Goldstone. The second pile will be the snake stone. And the third pile will be this pyrite. I'm going to be leaving timestamps down below. You can pause this video and meditate and see where your intuition is leading you. And then you could click on the timestamp that you want to. Welcome to your reading, group number one. You guys chose Goldstone. Goldstone is a great crystal for manifesting abundance material abundance. Let's begin with a oracle card. I'm going to be pulling from my spell casting deck. The card that was drawn for you is Courage. I'm going to pull three cards from this tarot deck to give further explanation for this card. There is a lot of sun energy here. These are the three cards we drew. The first, the strength card, the two of swords, The Page of Pentacles in Reverse. Some of you might have Leo energy in your chart or dealing with someone with Leo energy. Of course, this is a general reading, so it won't pertain to all of you. Courage is asked. Group number one, trust that you are not a novice anymore. Trust in your skills and your capabilities. Some of you watching may have a lot of self-doubt. The universe is telling you that the self-doubt and fear is just within you. You have nothing to worry about. You are quite capable, group number one. There might be this feeling of being stuck right now, stuck between two choices, a decision of some sort, but what's really holding you back is not the choice, 
It's the fear of failure. It's the fear that you may not be good enough. But know that whatever comes your way, group number one, you guys are really strong and quick on your feet and know how to handle anything that comes your way because you have the experience under your belt. Take a leap of faith and go forward. Be brave and know that you will be okay, group number one. I want to draw one more card to see what other messages that spirit may or may not have. We're going to see if the mermaids have anything to say to you. The mermaids have spoken. What a beautiful card. Healing. I'm going to be reading the passage from the book that this comes with. I want you to try to use your own intuition to see how the message pertains to you and give you further guidance on this reading. Set aside the time for self-healing. Welcome and allow healing energy to flow into your life or share your healing energy with others. These mermaids bring a powerful healing energy into your reading today. This healing can be for your mind, body, or spirit, or for all three. If you don't need healing at this time, then it's for someone close to you or the recipient of this reading. Part of the healing process is to believe you deserve to be healed and to also be receptive on a subconscious level to healing energies. Now, this might sound strange, but feeling and truly believing that you're worthy of being healed is a huge part of becoming whole again and free from disease. Are you being called to heal another? Have you considered a path in the healing arts? There are so many ways to administer healing. Simply listening can greatly help someone to feel heard, which in turn can lead to an inner healing and transformation. Perhaps you've recently completed a healing course. If so, this card is confirmation that it's time to take your healing skills out into the world. Have you been delaying your own healing? Sunlight is a powerful healing energy that most of us have access to fairly regularly. It can make you feel energized and uplifted. So slather on the sun cream and go out and enjoy it in a safe way. Once you prioritize time for self-care and healing, you'll be able to face the world again with vigor and enthusiasm. What are you waiting for? Do it now. That's all I have for you, group number one, sending you love. Welcome to your reading, group number two. You chose this snake stone right here. This is a great stone for vitality and health. Let's begin your reading. I'm going to begin by drawing an oracle card. And from there, we're going to pull three cards from tarot to see what message we can get to further explain 
the oracle card that we pulled. This is the card that was drawn. It's called Lighten Your Load. You can see that there is a person holding the weight of the entire earth on their back. We pulled three cards for you. The first one. The Magician in Reverse, the second, the King of Pentacles in Reverse, the third, we have the Two of Wands in Reverse. Group number two, you have been literally carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. You have used a lot of your mental and physical energy without giving time for yourself to recuperate and get that back. It seems like you are on a journey and nothing is going to get in your way of that. But keep in mind, that if you are feeling any blocks or feelings of being stuck or not getting further than you wanted, take a step back. The universe is telling you to relax, to focus your energy on something else. Sometimes stepping away gives us a clearer insight of where we might be going wrong. Manifestation often backfires when it is done in fear, when it is done in desperation, or if we've lost sight of why we even began. And we just need to find our path again, clear the rubble, and begin our journey. But for that, we need to take some time. I'm going to pull another oracle card for you, group number two, and see what spirit has to say. This is the card we drew. It's compassion. It's interesting that the earth comes up in both oracle cards. I feel that this is significant to you, group number two. The earth, perhaps you work in some sort of environmental field. Perhaps you are burdened by social issues or the issues of the world right now. Whatever field or life circumstances are affecting you, Know that compassion is a key player in helping you get out of any difficulty. And compassion doesn't just have to mean for somebody else. It can mean for yourself too. If you are moving fast and pushing, are you showing yourself compassion and love? Ask yourself that. I'm going to draw one more card and I'm going to read the passage from the book that it comes with. Use your intuition to obtain messages that pertain to your life and this overall reading. The card is called Hope. Hope. 
Hold on. Hold on to hope. When things feel hopeless, change your outlook to feeling hopeful. Trust in the magical flow of life and love. This mermaid can't see the sun shining behind her through the clouds or the vibrant rainbow. She's totally absorbed by her own inner world. All she needs to do is to look behind her and she'll see the symbols of hope all around. Can you relate to her situation at this time? While it's important to acknowledge any pain and perhaps fear of the future, combined with the feeling that hope is lost, it's equally important not to harbor these feelings for too long. Release them, knowing in your heart that hope can and will return again. Although it might feel that way, you're not at the mercy of your feelings and external circumstances. Each and every situation can be turned around so that you can recognize and nurture feelings of hope. Simply looking at things from another perspective can literally shine a new light on your life and bring hope to the forefront once again. Try meditating on your blessings, on the positive things in your life. Make this a daily habit and you'll soon change your heart and mindset to a hopeful one. If you find yourself thinking hopeless thoughts, imagine them turning into clouds and visualize them floating out of your mind. In your mind's eye, see a beautiful, vibrant, Rainbow filled with hope beaming into your heart, filling with vivid colors. The sun is shining and hope is present. You just need to open your heart to the possibilities and miracles that a renewed sense of hope can bring. That's all I have for you, group number two. I'm sending you love and know that you will be okay. Group number three, you chose pyrite. Pyrite is often used as a money stone, a bringer of good luck and good fortune. Let's begin your reading. I'm going to begin by pulling a oracle card and from there we're going to Pull three tarot cards to give further insight into what that oracle card represents for you. This is the card we drew and it's called Clarity. What a beautiful card. Let's see what cards we pull. Hmm. These are the three tarot cards. The first is the devil in reverse. The second is the five of cups. The third is the Seven of Cups in reverse. Group number three, you have been going through a lot in the past. It seems that you are seeking answers and guidance of inner turmoil, emotions, 
perhaps past pain in relationships. A lot has happened this year for you, group number three. And group number three, you put on a facade to those around you, but inside, there is something that you are battling. But clarity card is saying that you are about to get the answers that you hope to or the light that you wish to see again and you just have to keep holding on. I'm going to draw one more oracle card for you group number three to get further insight. Life purpose. And I drew two cards with the intention of pulling one, but they both came out. So we're going to use both for this reading as I feel that they're both important. The second card is love. I see that for group number three, you have been almost walking around in the dark and trying to search for a source of light. I see an orb of light drawn into all of these cards and it's as if something is just around the corner. You just have to be patient and wait. In the meantime, heal. Something has changed. Perhaps it's a relationship, a job, or news about your health and you're trying to figure out what the next steps are. Help is right around the corner. Insight is right there. But you have to hold on to faith and trust that the divine is here for you and that you are being guided. It's not a hopeless situation. There is light at the end of this tunnel. In order for you to be able to see clearly as to what steps to take when answers and light is being gifted to you, you have to stop fighting. You have to release the dark thoughts that maybe you are comfortable with, the thoughts and negative mindset that has become something you're used to and it's not going to be easy but beginning now is very important for you group number three because good things are on the way for you we're going to see what the mermaids have to say for you in the mermaid oracle card deck i'm going to be reading the passage from the book that comes with the deck i want you to use your intuition to see how the message pertains to your life and this reading. Let's see what the mermaids have to say. The card that was drawn is ask for help. Now is the time for you to give or receive help. Asking for help is the first simple step to sort out a situation. This mermaid is using her conch shell to call for help. She says we all need the help of others sometimes. Perhaps you're an independent person who prefers to do things for yourself. This is fine, but it's also fine and sometimes necessary to ask for help. 
Don't let foolish pride stop you from reaching out to others for assistance. You don't need to struggle through this situation, and there's no need to go it alone. Ask for help and trust that it will come at the right time, in the perfect way. If we were meant to manage on our own all the time, we wouldn't be on a planet with millions of other people. Perhaps your pride is stopping you asking for assistance. It's said that pride comes before a fall, so be mindful of this and don't unwittingly trip yourself up to make matters even more challenging. You might not have a conch shell to hand, but you probably have a mobile phone that works just as well. So, take heart, pick up your phone, and ask for help now. Or reach out by sending a text message to someone who might be able to assist you. People are usually happy to help others in their times of need. Or is it the other way around? Is it you who needs to help someone else? Maybe someone has asked you for assistance. If so, respond with kindness and love and lend a helping hand. That's all I have for you, group number three, sending love your way.